Welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to our weekly wellness chat. Uh, I am uh, Dr. Rai Pudi and uh, this is my wife, uh, Dr. Shobha Rai Pudi. Um, we are so excited to ha have you uh, this week. Uh, today we have a, a, a very uh, exciting show and uh, special guest. Um, for those of you who don't know us, so we're both uh, lifestyle medicine doctors and uh, co-founders of uh, Gift of Health where we help people to uh, prevent arrest and reverse disease, get off the medication treadmill, lose weight and keep it off and have more energy. So with that, we have a, a very, very special guest. Um, and can you guess? <laughs> <laughs> so we, we have a 12 year dynamic kid Shrikar, who is actually going to show us a very important uh, skill, I would yes, say. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's such an amazing skill. Shrikar, um, we are so excited to have you uh, on this show. Uh, for all our listeners, uh, Shrikar will be, uh, Shrikar is in sixth grade and he's so gifted. Uh, he is growing uh, microgreens on his own and not only just growing for his house, he's also raising money uh, by growing microgreens and uh, helping animal charities. So it's it's just amazing. We're so excited to have you on the show. Uh, thank you for letting me be here. Uh, I guess I'll start off uh, with the materials you need for growing these. Oh, yeah, before, so before that, Shrikar, like we have a couple of questions. Yeah. We'll, okay. Yeah, uh, our listeners and audience, they would really like to know uh, what got you started uh, like to grow microgreens? What got you interested in microgreens? Um, what, so in the su last summer, um, my, I saw my mom planting microgreens one day and I, I had nothing to do. So uh, I helped her because she told me to help her. And I thought it was like interesting and easy. So I just, I had an idea to sell them and make some pocket money and donate some to animal charity. That is so cool. <laughs> like seldom, like we would think of raising pocket money in that manner, but it, it, it's so cute that like you like the process and you took it to the next level, yes, I would say. Yeah. And like, it's amazing that you're growing microgreens because like, uh, like Shrika, you, you may be aware, like even when we have to buy these microgreens in the store, they're so expensive. And uh, yeah. these are so nutritious and like rich in- Yeah, like, like See, the thing is uh, for those of the people like who don't know what microgreens are, like this is one of the, the most nutritious foods on the planet. Microgreens are nothing but, uh, these are like baby plants, mm -hmm. right? These are baby plants and uh, uh, these small plants are edible, like the leaves and the stems and everything is edible. And multiple studies show that the microgreens have a higher concentration of nutrients like vitamins, minerals, uh -huh. right? So, so basically they are tiny, but yet powerful because they are so rich sources of uh, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. And even like when you're thinking of getting more iron, potassium, minerals, zinc, like like microgreens, they they beat yes like uh, rest of the foods. That's why they're called as superfoods too. Yeah, and um, the amazing part is like you can grow them in within few days. Yes, and you can grow them anywhere, and the process is is fun as well. So we are so excited to uh, you know learn the process from. Uh, Shrikar. Shrikar, yes, Shrikar. You, you just, you know, you're welcome to uh, share your views on like microgreens and also uh, share like, you know, how you grow them. Okay. Um, these are, we like actually just ate some. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> them. Nice. Yeah. So what, what did you put them on? Like, did you just eat them like that or did you put them on something? No, today morning I made, uh, my mom made avocado toast for me with these. Oh. Nice. Nice. So yeah, these are like the final ones, what they look like. Mm. Mm, yeah, uh, I don't really know about like the benefits of it, but um, my mom just told me it's like good for you, so. 
<laughs> See, you're already reaping the benefit streaker because your mom told you something is good and you're doing it. That's a huge benefit. Listening to mom. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. And do you do you like it? Like when you put them on in your food? Do, do you, yeah. Yeah. They taste good. Well, they don't really taste like anything, but they're crunchy. They're crunchy, yeah. Yeah. Is is there a favorite microgreen? Uh, I mean, I I normally grow uh broccoli microgreens. Mm-hmm. But uh, I've tried like methi and amaranth in the past, but they those didn't come out as well. Mm-hmm. So the you, know, you like the broccoli one, yeah? Like uh, so we uh, Shrikar, we actually grew some microgreens before. Like we fallen out of the habit, but uh, uh, our favorite was sunflower. Sunflower microgreens. Uh, we we tried that too. It came out pretty good, but I just we like the taste of broccoli ones better. Is that good? Good. Yeah. We 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 grew uh, uh, sunflower peas uh -huh. and uh, arugula. Yes. And uh, we uh, did the broccoli as well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Good, good. So <laughs> I see there is uh, some comments here uh, for you, uh, Shrikar. Like it says, uh, beautiful young gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Good, good. So yeah, let's um, let's see like uh, how. How do you grow and uh, how? What's the what's the process? Could you could you share what you do? Your secrets? Uh yeah, I will. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna start off with the materials. So I use um, you need organic broccoli seeds. So we get these seeds off Amazon, and uh, they're pretty good. And then we also we use co uh, organic coconut coir. You can also use like. Uh, organic potting soil, but this is what coconut coir looks like. Uh, we get this on Walmart. And um, we also use shallow, you need shallow aluminum trays. Um, yeah, we get these on Amazon too. And to wash the seeds, like before I um, even plant them, I wash them in apple cider vinegar because um, I want them like to remove of any mold or bacteria. So uh, yeah, and then you, of course you need like a spray bottle and a, and a water can. And we use like a steel strainer to um, soak the seeds and like make sure that we don't lose any seeds. Okay. Uh, and yeah. Uh, we also use a spoon with holes. So we actually did this like recently um, we use a spoon, like I used to just do it with my hand, but we realized when you, when you use like a spoon with holes, it's easier to like spread them around. Mm -hmm. So, and that's all the uh, materials you need. The so I make like, every week I make like seven trays and uh, five of them myself. And then two of them are just for my family. And then um, for seven trays, I use like, three to four tablespoons of broccoli seeds. Um, so th these are instructions to like soak the broccoli seeds. So soak like three to four tablespoons of broccoli seeds in a mixture of two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. That's what I use. Mm -hmm. And uh, plus uh, some water. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just like let it sit for like 30 minutes after you stir it. And then after 30 minutes, walk, like you wash the seeds like three to four times in like the steel strainer. And um, we use like a, a fine mesh because we, we don't want any of the seeds like getting um, lost or like uh, missing. So uh, uh, and also we put it under running water so that they like they wash really good. Next, uh, we soak the seeds in water for like a day. Uh, we do it overnight just because like then we're, we're like sleeping. Um, so, and then after prepare like the soil, uh, we use coconut coir. It's really just soil. Um, so do you have, is that, uh, Shrikar, can you lower uh, the, the camera for 
Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so that one, uh, is that the, just the coir or do, it looks like on the picture, like uh, what we are seeing, it looks like there is some soil on top of the coir or is it just a coir? Mm -hmm. Here, that, that's because I watered it. This is just the normal coir. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and, it just um, looks like soil. It just looks like soil, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it really is. And coconut coir comes in like a dry block. So uh, we like we water it for, so that it expands and like becomes soil. So yeah. And next day, so with the uh, trays, we poke like four to five holes in it. We poke four to five holes in it uh, on mm -hmm. the bottom so that uh, the water can drain. Uh, yeah, but so, if you're doing if. Yeah, so Srikar, uh, like we have one question. So. Is there a particular reason that coconut coir is being used? Like what if just the soil is used? Um, I mean, we just use it. There's no like particular reason. Okay. Not, yeah. Um, for the trays, we just get them off Amazon and we poke like four to five holes. So four on the corner mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like one in the center. Yes. Uh, my mom pokes these for me because I, I can't use a knife yet. <laughs> <laughs> um so what uh, i already like did this but uh once you have the trays ready and, and like the seeds ready uh with the coconut core just like fill it up like uh to the top on like and leaving like one to two inches of space mm -hmm. um and then uh you put like the so we and then after we do that we watered like the soil evenly Mm -hmm. um to like make to we do this to like make the seed when we put on the seeds like they stick well and they don't like they don't uh, fall off um so we not we strain like the broccoli seeds in the mesh mm -hmm. and then um after so after we do that we evenly just spread the seeds on the um here let me so I have the seeds in the spoon right here with the holes. Mm -hmm. And we just we just like kind of like spread it around. Let me get a little more. And um this part takes like patience and time. Mm. Just because it takes like a while to like actually spread them. <laughs> mm. I, I think you can see them. They're like very bright orange. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you want, I could put a little closer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this takes a while. Why are you going with the aluminum uh, trays, uh, Shrikar? Uh, I don't know why we do a, a, a aluminum, but we, we, we do shallow because I notice like shallow trays, um, like they, they, I don't know, the, the microgreens just like grow better. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why we do aluminum. Okay. So when you, when you sell them, do you sell them with the tray? Yeah, I sell them with the tray. Okay, that's that's uh, easy because it's you don't have to collect the tray. Is it like do the people give the tray back to you or just they, it's it's a uh, disposal? Some people, I mean, you don't have to, but some people do. Mm -hmm. We we uh, reuse the trays we use though. Okay. So I, like, a, we have used a different uh, like we ordered trays uh, after you're done. We wanted to show you how, our process actually, so we'll finish your process and we wanted to share as well. <laughs> okay. Good. And we can exchange ideas. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I, I just like it, it took it takes like a good amount of time just to like spread the seeds. Okay. Especially if you're doing with a spoon. Mm -hmm. Um, because they, they do come out better when you do it like this. So mm -hmm. I can like I, I spread it, um, it's like they're they're everywhere. So once I do that, I I add like a little so once you do that. You want to add like a like uh, soil on top, um, but just to like black out the seeds, not to like like don't add like too much because then the seeds it will take uh, hard it will be hard to grow. Okay. So when I I just like sprinkle that sprinkle it. This part also takes a lot of patience, so. Mm -hmm.
Do I just do this to like make sure I don't see any seeds? Okay. And then so af after after we cover the whole thing, like uh, the reason why the soil is already like like that is because we watered it. So after we cover it with seeds again with soil, then we water it again, but you might still see some seeds. So we just cover it again. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty much putting another layer of coconut oil on top, is it? Yeah, but I'm only sprinkling it because if you put too much, it will like it will take it will be harder for like the seeds to grow. Yes. Because then there's like a bunch of just soil on top blocking it. So Shaker, how long does it take for you uh, every, so do you do the, this process once a week? Yeah, once a week, mostly on the weekends because that's when I have the most time. Uh -huh. But yeah, it takes like, it really just takes like 20 to, yeah, 20 minutes at max. Mm. So it's just 20 minutes every day. So do you do 20 minutes every day or 20 minutes on the weekends? Like I I plant them, I plant seven trays once a week and I plant them on the weekend mm -hmm. um, because like that's when I have the most time. So I just do seven trays on the same day. Okay. So the next step, I, I, as you can see, I covered like all of it with soil, like just to black it out. So now I'm just gonna water a little bit just to dampen it. So I watered a little bit and I, I still see some seeds. So I'm just gonna cover them because after you water the, 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 like the soil goes down. Yes. So I'm just gonna cover them. Especially because after you water, like the soil becomes black and it's easier to see bright stuff. Hmm. So yeah, I, so I almost covered them. Okay, so I fully covered them. So, um, so after watering, like, like, like I just did, I saw a lot of seeds, so um, I covered them, yeah. And um, so uh, you don't you don't want to expose like the trays like right right after you plant them, you don't want to expose them to like direct sunlight outside for like two to three days until you see sprouts. Um, and keep watering like once a day if it's like dry. Um, but if it's like wet, don't water it. Um, and over watering, uh, we did this when we first like uh, planted, we got like really worried that it might die. So we over watered it and it didn't come out like well and like mold started to like create. So don't over water. Mm -hmm. um, like um, you'll start to see sprouts, like good sprouts. Uh, this is the, uh, this tray was like, this is the fifth day of these. Mm. Mm. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Very There's healthy. our microgreens on the. We planted them on Saturday. Yeah. And um. So yeah. So um, on like the third to fourth day, you'll see like good sprouts. Like on the fifth day, you'll see those. Um, and like on the third to fourth day, you can expose them to indoor lights or just uh, sunlight. And uh, water, like water them once a day and expose them to sunlight for at least like three to four or two to three hours if possible. Um, and make sure to keep, so if it's like cold outside, make sure to keep them inside because that like it doesn't grow good when it's cold. So it, it takes like longer now because the weather's like, because of the wind, we're keeping them like inside. Um, we're in Oak Park, so it's like really windy here. And okay. yeah. So for our listeners, uh, uh, Shrieker, like where, where are you located? Where is Oak Park? Uh, like California. California, okay. And what are your temperatures like now? Uh, I mean, we're in Los Angeles and it's like, I don't know the exact, like 70? 70 degrees, but it's like, it's very windy. Hmm. So do you do you like keep them uh, out outdoors most of the day? 
Yeah, I keep them outdoors. It's just that we're keeping them indoors, like right now. Okay. Uh, just because of the wind, and I keep them all, all, like always on a height surface, not on like the ground, mm -hmm. because if you keep them on the ground, like there's a chance of bugs and dust falling into it. Okay. So when you keep them indoors, uh, Shrikar, where do you keep them? Uh, really, just on like the back counter, like I keep them over here. Okay. So you have? Do you have plant lights there? Huh? Do you have like un under the lights? Like you, you put lights under the cabinet there? Yeah, we put like lights under there and then um, we just put them there. Exactly. So we actually have similar setup, uh, Shrikar. Uh, like we also have uh, uh, plant lights under the cabinets. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, that's pretty cool. So did you find any difference, Shrikar, like when you're putting uh, under the plant lights? Uh, right now you said since it's windy, you're doing it uh, inside, but like when you were growing outside, did you notice any difference? Um, when I when I was growing outside, they they grow better in like the sunlight. But um, since it's like cold and windy, we do them inside now. It does take like an extra day or two, but it's it doesn't it doesn't really change. I don't know. Yeah, that's okay. that's what uh, we observe too. Like uh, for us, where we are, Shrika, we are in Newfoundland. Newfoundland is in like northeast Canada. So wait, wait, where? We are in Northeast Canada. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like for you and us, there is a time difference of four and a half hours. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so, so it's actually it's eight o'clock now, almost like five to eight here. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> wait, so it's like night for you? Yeah, it's like eight o'clock at night time. Yes. Yeah. So uh, for us, the like you you are very lucky because your days are longer, you're more light. But here yeah. it's colder climate uh, and uh, our days are short now. So we pretty much grew them under the lights. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, do you know what temperature? I just wanted to. Yeah, get, like uh, today, the temperature is, here is uh, minus three. Yeah, minus three centigrade. Negative <laughs> three. Yeah, that, that's about 25, roughly about 25 Fahrenheit. I think like the coldest in like here it's ever been like the past month is probably like. 50 degrees. Oh, okay. A, 50, deg 50 degrees uh, for us, we see that uh, uh, we don't see that in winter time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So is it, is it like snow there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. You should come visit sometime with your parents. Uh, okay. It's a, it's a whole flight, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, tell us about, uh, you know, when you harvest and how do you harvest? Can you show that? Um, yeah. So when I harvest, like, it's like the 10th to 12th day. And so we just har harvested like these today morning. Okay. Um, this is like the 11th day, kind of, right? And mm -hmm. so these are like full grown. And really all you do is just get scissors and cut them like this. Mm -hmm. And then after you do that, um, you just like, wa we have like a salad spinner bowl um, that we wash them in, like we spin it and then it just like drains the water out mm -hmm. and it just washes them. So that's what we do. Excellent. So, uh, and yes, Rika? Uh, since we're growing them inside, we put like another tray under mm -hmm. so that the water doesn't leak. Looks like there's another tray under. Hmm. Here, I can actually get the salad spinner. This is this is what we have. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, that, like, you just put. Nice idea. Yeah. Yeah. You just put something inside, and then you spin it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So every day, uh, what's your uh, process? You said, uh, uh, like, how long do you spend with it uh, every day? Like 20 minutes. Is it like, you, do you spend 20 minutes daily or 20 minutes on the weekend? No, on the weekend. Like if, if I'm planting them, it, like I take 20 minutes, but if I'm just like watering them or something, it takes like two minutes. Two minutes, oh, okay. Excellent, excellent. That's great. So uh, when you uh, sell them, like roughly uh, how much uh, like do they, do they buy them people buy them for so 
Um, I sell them for like, like around eight to twelve dollars. It depends, like how big they are. Uh huh. Because if they're if we grew like small ones, I sell them for like eight. Um, but yeah, it depends on like the tray size. Okay, excellent. And 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 it's beautiful that you've been able to raise uh, money for uh, uh, some of the things that matter to you. So what do you? We heard oh, you you wanted to share something. Oh uh, yeah, we so these are like day day five and um we like it takes like ten minutes to just like take care of them and yeah. So these grew pretty fast. Um the the it, like this is what they look like normally, like on the seventh day, but these I don't know why they got out better, so yeah. Nice. Shifty, do you want to join? No, uh, I can't find my headphones. Just... Okay. okay. So, like, we got some questions from the viewers' speakers. So, one is okay. uh, uh, they're asking, like, is it uh, is it possible to use any kind of soil? I know here you have used uh, coconut coir, but like, have you tried with the regular soil? Uh, I've tried like with organic potting soil, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I also heard there was like microgreens f uh, food, and I'm just like trying to like see what that is, okay, and see if it's like good or not, and yeah. So Shrikar, like uh, you, um, so you you raise the the money for some of the animal charities. Like so why? We just want to know, like what what got you interested in that, and why does it matter to you? Uh, it matter. I mean, my mom's vegan, so we we eat like uh, vegan at home, like most of the time. And she taught me like how like uh, they like kill animals, so. I mean, it's like, it's kind of sad. So I wanted to raise like money for animal charities. And the one I'm raising for is like it's in India, and my um my grandma my grandmother, uh, told me it's called like cow sanctuary. Yeah. So it's like a sanctuary for the animals. Oh uh, yeah. That's nice. no oh, cows cows. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you uh, did you? Uh, when you visited India, did you get a chance to interact with any of the cows? Yeah. Yeah. Like we we have a lot of memories, right? Like you know how uh, right now we have a a cat and a dog at home, and uh, when we uh, like when we visit India and like interact with the the cows and the cats, it feels like it's just a they're like big big puppies or big kittens. <laughs> I'm actually used to a cat because our our neighbors um they they like I think they went out of town for like three weeks and I had to I, I was like taking care of their uh cat and oh, that's really nice. it, it's it's very strange like the cat the yeah the cat's like very strange <laughs> <laughs> yeah we 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 have a cat now it's he's been here for with us for a month and uh, we feel uh, what you're saying yes <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah so uh, should we show like what our, our process is? Mm -hmm. Can we share our process? Like, would you like to know what we do? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. So let's see. So we have like two different kinds of trays. We ordered them from, uh, this is one type of tray. So you can see like this can come off and you, cool. yeah. And you can see like this has holes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. And as you said, I mean, when it's shallow, it is good. So you can see just like your aluminum trays, even these trays are shallow. Oh, okay. And this is another type of tray that we use. This also we got from Amazon uh, and we, we made holes in it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of holes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this is uh, another type of like, it's, it's called like patch. Uh, even this one we ordered from Amazon, but right now they're not selling this. 
like if you look at it like inside, uh, they already have holes. And oh. here is the place where you could just put the water. So this one is something like where you could just uh, put the water and uh leave it because oh so you just put like the water in the hole and it just like goes to the yeah yeah so the way it is uh, shaken like we could take this part off so at the bottom is the what stays the water and we put the soil here so oh, it's okay. like different compartments yeah oh we'll, we'll we'll try to get those chairs that looks pretty cool yeah, this this is like a self watering thing. So we we don't need to uh, once we put water in it, we don't need to water it for almost like a week. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this one we use it for uh, growing uh, cilantro or parsley or basil, uh, like a uh, grow herbs in the kitchen. Mm, nice. Yeah, just like what I, you have. I, yeah, I don't think I've ever grown cilantro, mm -hmm. but. I haven't even go, yeah, I haven't grown like parsley or, or anything. Yeah, you, you, you should try it. Like it's, it's, uh, they're very interesting to grow. Like uh, one thing is cilantro and basil, they grow very fast. Whereas okay. parsley, you have to be very patient. It takes like almost uh, 10, 12 days for them to sprout. But once they start growing, they grow very fast. Oh, okay. Yeah, cilantro, do you know where cilantro comes from? No, I don't. No, you don't? Okay. You should ask like mom, like uh, coriander seeds, we call them dania. If you just put them in the, in the, in the drop, in the soil, they'll start, to, you'll get cilantro with that. So you already have those seeds at home. We do? Oh, okay. <laughs> so something new. So what we did is basically, uh, so here we have, so we're just using the regular uh, potting soil. Yeah. So we filled up this tray. And um, we filled up uh, this tray as well. So right. we, uh, we one tray we'll put some sunflower seeds. Other tray we'll put some peas. Uh, we also have like, let's see. So these are we. Um, you have a good choice of like you know basically where you are when you order from Amazon. You get it so fast. Uh, yeah. Where we are. Uh, when we order from Amazon, it takes like almost like a week. <laughs> Sometimes more than a week. More than a week, yeah. 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 Oh, that, is yeah. it because you're in so, Canada? So I or? Say, yeah, so I would say for people living in Canada, uh, like we use uh, seedbank.ca. So that's it's actually seed-bank.ca, yeah. yeah. So that's a, that's a good site. Like, so we have broccoli, rape seeds, and these are peas, and these are sunflower seeds. Oh. Uh, yeah, basically, just the, the process is very similar to like what what you have done. We're just gonna put um, uh, peas in one thing and sunflower seeds in one thing. Oh, okay. Those and seeds look like chocolate chips. Yes, yes they look yeah. like chocolate chips. <laughs> They're right. <laughs> the sunflower seeds. And I also found that this uh, sunflower microgreens are the easiest and fastest to grow. Sometimes in, in three days, like you, yeah. you, you can see them coming up. You know what we do, Srila, sometimes is we have a heat germinating pad. So we actually put, oh. this, put this on that. So even on like day four, Three day four, we start to see uh, sprouts. Like they uh, they speed up uh, like the, even the sprouting process. Yeah, but as I said, like we live in very cold temperatures. Like uh, sometimes, like our temperatures go to minus. So uh, that's why we use uh, like heating germinating pad. Yeah. Like, like during winters, and during summer, uh -huh. like it's uh, it's good. Like we can uh, grow that. Yeah, we don't. Wait, what? what are those called? Her heat germinating pads? Yeah, so those are. Uh, uh, did you bring that? No, I, 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 I can get it. Yeah. yeah. 
So the, it's basically uh, this uh, heat germinating, uh, like a pad, uh, it's, it, it generates a low grade heat. It maintains a temperature for about like 25 to 27 degrees uh, centigrade. All right. And that speeds up the germination process. Okay. So, so it's we, like makes it hotter. I'm sorry? It makes it hotter or? Yes, makes it a little warmer. Okay. Yeah. So now we have all this, like we just sprinkle them like that, just like what you did. And then we'll uh, add a, a small layer of soil on top. Yeah. And then we just uh, water it, put it aside. And, uh, and uh, sometimes we just let them sprout by themselves. And sometimes we actually use the that heat germination pad. Okay. Yeah. And uh, oh yeah, Shobha Aunty brought the, the germination pad. Like, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so this, this so this is a bigger one. But yeah. This is a. But so you, basically, oh, okay. Yeah, it yeah. With the yeah. plug. Yeah. So you just connect this and. It warms up, so you can just keep the tray. Here, it actually tells you uh, what yeah. uh, plants take how long for germination. Oh, uh, okay. So, do you put the plants like on it? On it, yes. Yeah, we stretch so, it out. Okay. So you just put the tray. So you just yeah, put, put the, the tray, tray like on. This. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in uh, in a, in about I would say five to seven days we'll have uh, sunflower sprouts and uh, pea sprouts. Uh, thanks thanks to you because we broke the habit, but now you inspired us to get back into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> good, good, good. So you have some more questions for him? Oh yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So so we did get some questions. Uh, okay. So uh, okay. So one question was: Do you need grow lights to grow uh, micro? I think we already yeah. answered that, right? Yeah. Like, uh, what are grow lights? <laughs> so those are like plant lights. So the ones oh, that oh, you okay, have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the ones that you have under the cabinets there, uh, those are grow oh. lights. Yeah. 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 I guess where you are, like you are in sunny California. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't need grow lights, uh, but where we are, uh, it would be helpful to have some grow lights. And as uh, viewers can see, it's a nice idea to just to place them beneath the cabinets. Yeah. So where you could just like uh, put them on your kitchen counter. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's, that's a very good yes. spot. Yes, yeah. So this is how it looks right there. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. We have we have uh, three lights just like that. Yes. So that that's a cool setup. Yeah. It saves space too, right? Like yeah. To, uh, and uh, where can you order this grow lights? Uh, for us, like for the viewers here in Canada, like Amazon has them, right? So these are the uh, the eighteen inch are two feet. Yeah. No. Our, ours just are built into our home. They're not oh. actually. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we just put them there. Wonderful, oh, cool. wonderful, yeah. 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 So that we can like uh, they, these lights uh, come in like an eighteen inch uh -huh. or two feet or three feet lights that you just get them and uh, they these are called T five lights, right? So we use T five lights. Yeah, and uh, so the other question was like, uh, do we need to add fertilizer to the soil? Um, no, uh, you don't need to, uh, but I heard like, uh, as I said earlier, there's like a food for microgreens that you like that, that uh, you can put in, but I haven't tried it yet. So I, I'm not sure. Mm. One thing uh, we, we tried Shrieker before was um, uh, putting uh, some earthworm castings. Have you heard of earthworm castings? No, I haven't. No, I have, I have you have you seen earthworms? Yeah, I've seen earthworms. Yeah, yes, yeah. How? What do you think of them? Mm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, yeah. No, did you know that the earthworms, 
they, they do such an important job of keeping the soil so fertile. Right? These earthworms, yeah. what they do is they, they do. Oh, yeah. They, they poop and then. Yeah, that's right. You do. You already know it. Yeah. <laughs> they poop and they make the soil so fertile. And these poop is what called earthworm castings. And uh, some people actually grow earthworms and collect their, uh, feed them all the, the veggies and all their poop is collected as earthworm castings. And that's one of the most uh, uh, nutritious, okay. <laughs> yeah, fertile, nutritious food for the, for the plants. So uh, we, we tried the sprinkling these earthworm castings and uh, we found the difference. Wait, so do you like grow earthworms? No, we don't grow earthworms, but we could, you know, we bought these earthworm castings. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good, good. So would you like to tell what difference? Uh, yeah, it, basically uh, we, we notice at least like 20 to 30% growth difference. Like when we use these earthworm castings, the, these are more lush and uh, more thick and green. Wow. Yeah. So, but basically like- But you don't have to yeah. use them like, but the way you have it, your tray, it's, it looks, you know, really lush and really healthy, beautiful looking. But if you want to experiment that, you could, you could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this question has already been answered. Like what seeds do you use? So anyhow, uh, like Shrikar mentioned about uh, broccoli seeds and- Yeah, these are the ones. Yeah, and you ordered them from Amazon, right? Yes, yeah, I got these from house. Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. square house. Mm -hmm. Great. And as we mentioned, like here in Canada, uh, it's the seed hyphen, hyphen bank. bank ca. Yeah, okay. we will we'll post it in the comments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you can also get uh, these. Uh, I think uh, locally, uh, Saint John's has a couple of uh, places yeah. where you can they can get uh, sprouting yeah. seeds. Yeah. And have you tried with flax seeds and chia seeds, Shrikar, any time? No, I haven't. Yeah, so actually we can uh, grow wonderful uh, microgreens with uh, flax seed and chia seeds. Maybe next time you should give it a try. Yeah, uh, like the people that buy uh, the microgreens for me, they, they prefer like uh, broccoli microgreens. So that's oh, why okay, I grow yeah. them. Okay. The, the... The broccoli microgreen streaker, like these are one of the, uh, these have um, like uh, highest top of the, the nutrients that protect us and help us fight against cancer. Yeah, yeah cause my mom use, uses them in like a lot of her cooking. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And uh, okay, so another question is, can we mix different types of seeds? in one tray or do we have to grow them separately uh i've never tried that so <laughs> i mean i've only like I, i'm just used to growing like broccoli microgreens so mm -hmm. i i'm not sure if you can like mix them yeah and we we haven't tried mixing them right no, uh, we... and and but once it happened by accident so like they were trays side by side and when we were uh sprinkling the seeds like what we noticed was, uh, I think it was uh, like, was it cilantro? We were growing uh, cilantro and there was another like uh, basil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> basil so plant coming out it, of it. It's, it becomes hard. What we found was uh, uh, like uh, uh, once if you have, especially if you're growing herbs, mm -hmm. right? We tried uh, one basil plant came in the cilantro uh, pot and the basil grows so tall and cilantro is short. So uh, it becomes hard, especially if you're growing under lights. So it's not a good uh, idea to yeah. <laughs> mix the seeds, I would say. Our friend, uh, she's doctor, uh, like uh, she's ac actually in California as well. She's watching you on the show and she's saying, um, we can try partition the tray. So if you want no, to- no. We, we, Okay. Yeah. Okay. So basically if you want to do two, yeah. Uh, seeds differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And what is the other question? Is there is there a, anything that you can avoid uh, that can add to avoid bugs, bugs. naturally? Uh, Dan uh, uh, Shrikar already shared his process. Like you, you, did you say you use uh, apple cider vinegar, Shrikar? 
Yeah, so that's for like mold and bacteria. Um, this is the, I like soak in apple cider vinegar. Um, but I normally put like the trays on high surfaces to avoid bugs, but I'm not sure if you can like spray any bug spray. Mm. But. Yeah, see the, the advantage with this microgreens is since these are harvested within seven to 10 days, it's a very less time for the bugs to collect. Like what we observed is like we grew uh, shrieker like for uh, uh, just to uh, share with you, uh, we have like a huge uh, backyard garden. And in um, one summer, we grew uh, over uh, 40 different fruits and vegetables in our backyard. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and we almost grew how many? Uh, yeah, we grew, five, we, we, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we grew 700, pound, 700 pounds of potatoes in our backyard in one summer. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, some of it, like, we know people that have like a very big backyard and the, the, is it a grape wine? Yeah, they make like grape wine because mm. um, they have like a lot of grape trees. Yeah, that's nice. I, it's so I, I, I'm, I'm envious like you could grow like grape wines <laughs> in backyard. We have a friend here locally. His name is Rod and uh, like his wife, Tina. They're also into gardening and they, act, they have a greenhouse. And in the greenhouse, they have a grape wine and they had it for 10 years. So every winter it freezes like it just goes away dies and, and every summer it comes back so they have grapes every huh. summer okay yeah uh madhu has just commented she's saying uh, they're saying like you're doing great job shaker <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> yeah good good and uh, i think we had uh, another question yeah the question yeah. okay yeah yeah no, no. Um, so, okay, what amount of sunlight do they require? So I think I think this has been also answered. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they just need like two to three hours per day. So, okay. Uh, are you saying like uh, in uh, cold or windy days, you just put them outside for two to three hours? Yeah. Okay. That's really good. Like, so even two to three hours of daylight and rest of the time under your uh, plant lights and you're having very good harvest there. Yeah, so we have like a, in our backyard, we have like a kind of like a little structure in our backyard where like, it's like covering um, like where we normally put the seeds. Mm -hmm. So we just put them like where the sunlight is. Hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. So that's yeah so that's uh, that's a good idea and uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> so like you know you're inspiring many people to do uh, Sridhar like people are planning to team up and uh, start growing their microgreens so <laughs> uh, see all the good work you're doing huh? <laughs> thank yeah. you so yeah. one question was uh, once grown how do you pack them for later use um, we just put we just put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. Yeah, that's what we did too. Like uh, uh, we harvest and then we just put them in the in the fridge and they last just like the, they last even more longer than the salads, like salad greens, five to seven days. But most of the time they're finished before uh, they go bad. Yeah, there is a question. Yeah. Uh, I think we can answer this here. Is a new yeah, we going... put these in the fridge freezer. We actually have them. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Yes. So cool. So we have a question here. Yeah, we it... we put like the uh like the cold ones like that are in the freezer. We put them in smoothies. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Like you can just freeze like the mm -hmm. the frozen ones you can use for smoothies. Wonderful. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, yeah, we have one question. So is the Newfoundland growing season about two months? Yes. Yes, yeah, <laughs> like two months. But here is the thing, Heather, like uh, uh, two months is right. Mm -hmm. But if you have a greenhouse, uh, we can extend the growing season a month uh, before and a month after. So that's what uh, we did is uh, uh, we had like a couple of uh, greenhouses and mm -hmm. uh, we were able to grow for almost like four months. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. But where Shrieker, where you are, like you, you are, uh, uh, you could grow pretty much anything in California all around uh, uh, the year, isn't it? 
Uh, wait, what? So where you are, Srikar, like you, your weather is so good, you're, you have sun yeah. pretty much all through the year, you could grow throughout the year. Yeah, it's just right now it's like really windy. Really windy, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we visited uh, one of our friends in California. They live near uh, San Jose. And um, yep. in their backyard, they had apples. Uh, apricots. Yeah, apricots. Lemons, I guess. Yes, and uh, right in front of their uh, like house, they had the pomegranates growing. Big, juicy pomegranates. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have like a garden too. We have, um, uh, right, right now it's kind of dead, but we have like pomegranate tree. Mm. Uh, we have a, a guava tree. We have like uh, kumquats, uh, lemons, and like eggplant and tomato. Wonderful, yeah. Wow. Cool, that's cool. But it is so cool that you're able to grow microgreens all throughout the year because even like what we found is yeah sometimes we go through spurts like we grow them and then then stop them but uh, it's nice that you have a cool little process where you're just growing like two trays for your house every week I think that's that's a better plan like yeah. ra rather than trying to plant all the trays mm -hmm. so maybe like once in a week just uh, so let's say if you're just using for home purposes we could just grow one or two trays a week yeah and and uh, is it, it is a fun process isn't it like uh, do you like it's um, it's when you see them sprouting when you see them growing how do you feel uh, I mean, it, it's like pretty it, happy, but like, it, yeah, it's cool to see them. Yeah, it's cool yeah. to see them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see. Uh, I remember like first time when I, when I grew them speaker, like first time when they sprouted, I got really excited. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good, good. And have you experienced any times Shrikar, like you planted them, but they didn't grow? Like where they're uh, with broccoli them. seeds, I haven't, but with like mustard and amaranth, I have. Okay. Okay. So are they hard to grow, amaranth and the uh, uh, mustard? Yeah, they're a little harder to go. Okay. So speaker, like we have uh, one question, like so, where do you, uh, where do you like to take it? Like, do you have any plans or hopes or vision? Where what you want to do with uh, your side uh, hustle? I want. I want to take it to like the farmer's market so I could sell to people there. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah, that's great. We wish you uh, like uh, all the best and uh, you're doing amazing. Thank you. And I learned a lot today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you because uh, I know it's, it's not so easy, but like you were so courageous to demonstrate and this really helped many of our participants, I would say many of our viewers, you just made the process so simple and you have like inspired many people to like grow this microgreens, which is, which is very cool. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And um, we also wanted to uh, let our viewers know, I know Shrikar, he is a son of uh, Sirisha yeah. Patluri, Dr. Sirisha Patluri. Like, she showed us uh, how to make uh, amazing uh, mango kale dal in our previous Gift of Health sessions. Yes. So, is your mom around, Shrika? Like, would you like to have her on the show as well with you? She's <laughs> 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 <It's> getting tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing amazing <laughs> like yeah oh we can't hear you yeah we can't hear you sirisha okay yeah maybe switch the ear <laughs> We can hear you now. It's a bit low. You can hear. Okay, you can hear. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So he, he did an amazing job of uh, demonstrating like how to grow the microgreens. And I was just telling our uh, viewers like uh, he's, he's the adorable son of Sirisha. <laughs> <laughs> like, Thank you for having him on. He's, he's coming back once. Oh, again. you're welcome. It's, it's been a pleasure to have him. Yeah. So what, what do you use in uh, uh, Surisha? Like he grows them, but you, you probably know so many uses. <laughs> I try to put in everything possible, but my kid's favorite way to use these microgreens is uh, raw, uh, avocado toast. So mm. they experts in making avocado toast they just open avocado, uh, apply on the bread and some red onions and some microgreens and some lemon juice. So it's their favorite uh, dish to make with microgreens, but uh, we put them in pita pockets, we put them in burritos, tacos, you know, I stuck them in dosas too, so. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's yeah. great. Like, so uh, your voice is a bit low, Sirisha. I'm just gonna repeat, like you said the yeah. process of the avocado toast and uh, uh -huh. just open the bread, take the avocado, spread it. Yeah, uh, yeah we just... how do you make avocado toast? <laughs> oh, you make it. Oh, it looks like. Uh... <laughs> uh, well, we just like, well, make the like, all uh, like the guac first. We just add like onions, tomatoes, and like avocado, and squash it together. That's it. And and then put it on bread with microgreens on top. <laughs> good, good. So, so yeah, the audio was a little bit low. So we'll just we are just going to repeat like what uh, uh, what we have said. So okay. we. So you put them in everything. You said like pizza pockets or pita pockets, any stir fries, smoothies, so many uses, right? Salads, salad greens, amazing, huh? And the best, their favorite is avocado toast. Yeah, their favorite is avocado toast and tacos. This and tacos, like wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. So it, it was such a pleasure to have you, Srikar. So thank you so much. For showing and uh, like our viewers really loved it and uh, before you leave there is one more question they said like can you reuse the soil after harvest yeah you can okay wonderful yeah. yeah yeah we use it and we let it dry in the in the sun for a while and then right yeah yeah, yeah. Good, good. Okay. So, yeah, we see uh, Erin is saying, awesome job, Srikar, getting my trays ready to plant now. Thanks for the inspiration. <laughs> now, if, if Newfoundland starts growing uh, more microgreens, we, you know, you made a difference for, for many people here. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, it's been a fun to watch you process and learn from you. Yes. He learned a lot today. He was, he was surprised that you know, all the trays and heat pads and yeah, this is amazing. Thank you for having me on. Oh, oh you're thank welcome. You. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, now... Uh...